This is me UI14 running on the Xiaomi 12 Pro and this is the EU version of the ROM aka the global ROM and I installed this because the Chinese ROM always has features that don't make it to India so it's kind of pointless. So let's get to the point. Mi UI14, what are the new features? Are there any ads or bloatware? I'll get to that but let's talk about new features. So the biggest change in MIUI 14 is how icons and folders work on the home screen. So first up, MIUI 14 has these new super icons. Basically, I can press hold on an icon and you get this new edit icon option. This lets you change the icon from a usual 1x1 one one format to a 2x1 or 1x2 or a big 2x2 two two format. This is actually pretty cool. There are also these icons from the themes app that require me coins. MIUI 14 also has these enlarged folders similar to what Nothing OS introduced. This basically means that you can launch apps directly from this big folder. Apart from this, MIUI 14 also brings new MIUI 14 wallpapers and there's also a new Google search bar at the bottom that you can remove if you want. I also noticed some other minor changes like you can now see the weather details on the notification center top. The settings page also has these new icons. Now the global ROM does not have the whole plants and pets widget. In fact, the widget speaker remains the same outdated one. There's also no wallpaper theming. Now the Google app and the Play Store do have these material you themed icons, but that's all. Now, MIUI 14 isn't big on the visual changes, but there's plenty of new options everywhere. For example, sound and vibration is now sound and touch, and there's a dedicated page to touch, aka haptics, which has this super cool video. Then there are these demos to make you aware of the haptic feedback in different UI elements, and I think it's pretty cool. Other new options include the ability to switch the control center side. Basically, you can now move the control center to the left side if you want. Google Assistant gesture from the bottom corners is also finally supported, but it's not working in this beta. There's also an option to double tap to lock your phone. And there are also these new charging animations. There's wave, flow, and glow. Now, one really handy option is this, allow power menu when device is locked. See, by default in MIUI 13, anyone can access the power menu on the lock screen. So basically, anyone can put your phone to silent, turn off your phone, or even put your phone to airplane mode. Now, in MIUI 14, you can basically turn off this option and nobody will be able to access the power menu on the lock screen. On MIUI 13, at least in India, the first lock screen shortcut is practically useless. I mean, you can open the camera from the right shortcut, but the left one basically asks you to enable the spammy adware that is the glass lock screen. Yeah, that's changing in MIUI 14. MIUI 14's lock screen shortcut brings you these apps you can open quickly or even turn on the torch. There is this option to turn the glance lock screen feature on, but hey, it's not in your face. Plus, this list of shortcuts is customizable. There is this side panel shortcuts option that lets you change the app's priority and even add newer apps. This is actually good. Always on display is now better with MIUI 14. First up, you can now see your steps in the AOD. I mean, you can customize the AOD style and there is this new steps option you can turn on. Another change in AOD is you can now see app icons for notifications via this option. Then there's a new option which lets you control if AOD gets turned off or not when you are in the dark for long. Now, this option should be handy for people who want AOD at all times, even in the dark. I know privacy and MIUI, but there are new privacy features in MIUI 14. First up, there's a new incognito mode in MIUI. Not kidding. This option in the control center kills my camera and location access for all apps instantly. I mean, I can turn it on and this is what it says in the camera. Now, I'm not sure how many times people will use this, but it's interesting. The privacy page in the settings also has a show clipboard access option, which basically lets you know when an app uses the clipboard. Apart from this, a lot of privacy options that were previously part of the security app have now moved to the privacy protection page in MIUI 14. I mean, you can lock apps or even hide apps from this page directly. No need to go to the security app. Now, I wasn't expecting camera features in MIUI 14, but Surprise, surprise. First up is this new voice shutter option, which is basically you say cheese and the photo is taken automatically. It actually works really well on the 12 Pro. Anyway, also notice that Google Lens is now integrated in the camera app here. Now, one cool new feature in MIUI 14 is that in the gallery app, you can now extract text from images. I can just press hold, select the text, copy it. It's very handy and again, works very well. Now, like always, Xiaomi has claimed better performance with the latest MIUI update, 60% better fluency all across, 16% lower power consumption, and 23% lower system size. 
Now Mi UI 14 does feel a tad bit faster on the Xiaomi 12 Pro, but I also compared the storage used on the Xiaomi 12 Pro with Mi UI 13 and Xiaomi 12 Pro with Mi UI 14, and it was hardly any difference. And this is after both of them had been reset. Look, overall, Mi UI 14 is not a major revamp of Mi UI. That's pretty much clear, but it greatly refines Mi UI. But there's always the question of ads and bloatware in Mi UI. I mean, we saw what happened with Realme UI 4. It actually had more ads and more bloatware with the latest update. Now, there is a rumor that Xiaomi is removing ads with Mi UI 14, but I guess we'll only find out when Mi UI 14 rolls out in India, or maybe when the Redmi Note 12 comes out next month with Mi UI 14. So let's wait and watch. Anyway, which is your favorite new feature in Mi UI 14? Comment down below. Also, give this video a like. Make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. TikTok is banned in India, so you must be thinking why I'm talking about it. Well, this will make you think. Recently, Tristan Harris...